Hey guys, this is Jeanette from Boricua Sewing and Crafts. Um, this is my second time trying to film this. I don't know why I am having a hard time with my camera today. One of the things that I wanted to do was talk to you about embroidery thread and what happens when you are running out. If you are brand new to embroidery, what's gonna happen is you're really gonna start getting into it. You're gonna start sewing a lot and then you're eventually gonna run out of a color and you're probably gonna panic, okay? Because when you first start embroidering, what ends up happening is you buy a kit. You buy, um, usually, um, you know, you pick a brand of, of embroidery thread that you like. And then what you do is you purchase a kit. Um, usually the ones that I recommend for people is um, the Sim Thread. Um, I like the Sim Threads, the 63 colors. Um, they, they go very well with the Brother Machines. They also have very pretty colors and... Um, you know, it's just a really good inexpensive kit that, you know, when you're starting to embroider that you can invest in. It doesn't cost an arm and a leg, um, you know, and you get a lot. I, I feel you get a lot for your, your money on that. So anyway, I started with a sim thread and I like it. Okay, so, um, you know, it worked for me. So as you can see, I have a color. Um, that's what happens when you are running out of thread. You know, you get to your comb and then you, you want to replace this. Now, you have two, you know, you have a couple options to, to replace your thread, okay? Um, one of the things you can do is you can go to the company website and you can purchase the individual um, colors and you can get them in the small sprue, okay, which is like this. However, though, when there comes to certain colors that I like a lot, for instance, I use um, this color a lot. Just just so much with um, baby clothes. This is called the Corn Flower Blue. It's number 70 in Sim Thread. So what I usually do is when it, I come to that situation where there's a certain color that I use a lot, I always like to transfer over to another brand that provides the bigger comb like this, okay? This is 1,100 yards. This is um, 5,500 yards, and it lasts me quite a bit, okay? So, you know, I always like to invest in these. I usually buy these from Allstitch. I feel Allstitch has the best prices. Um, I just made a big order out of Allstitch. Um, they cost, right now I paid for the Polython, um, I paid $7.95 a comb, which I think was really, really good. When I look on Amazon and I try to buy these big cones off of Amazon, they're asking for like 16 bucks. Don't do it. I'm telling you, I think you're overpaying. You can always go to Allstitch and pay $8 for a cone. Now, the only caveat that I don't like about Allstitch, which Amazon provides free shipping, you know, if you're an Amazon um, person, but they don't have free shipping. You have to spend, if you want to qualify for the free shipping, you have to spend $150. So what I do in those situations is I wait till I have $150 worth of thread or bobbins or whatever, or, you know, um, I like to buy my needles from them as well. You know, whenever I'm in, the, when I have to replenish my um, supplies, that is when I go and I say, okay, I usually just jot down what I need and then I make a bulk order buy. Now I kind of screwed up on this bulk order buy because I didn't realize that I was, I needed a bigger, um, I had big, big combs, but I used them up. And I'm down to this color. So I'm, this is color, unfortunately, is going to have the weight. Okay, so I hope nobody asks for brown, the dark brown. So anyway, um, now let's say that you are using your sim thread, right? And you want to purchase the big comb, right? You don't know uh, what, um, what color to get. So one of the things that, that I recommend that you do is you download a conversion chart. And that's what I wanna to talk to you about in this video, okay? If you go over to Sim Threads website, they do have a conversion chart. And on their conversion chart, it shows their color and what is converted in the Madeira, all right? And that's what All Stitch sells for like eight bucks, the big comb, okay? So like um, this one is number 70, okay? Which is the cornflower. And according to this, um, Let's see, cornflower 70, it's 1830. So this is color 1830. So this is the perfect match for this color. Now, a little tip for you also, um, when I'm embroidering, I always use the Sim Thread numbers, okay, as the color to pick. 
I don't really like go in my palette and change it to the Madeira thread. So what I do is I just pop a hole with the plastic when I get it in and I take a little um, marker and then I just write 70 in here. So I know that if I'm looking for color 70 um, and I have to run for the big comb, this is it. I mean, you can also maybe, you know, probably write 70 on the top if this is open and, and you know, you have it stuck on the thing and you don't want to lift it. But a lot of times I can just eyeball it and I kind of know what color it is. And I just kind of lift it just to confirm. OK, so um, also a little tip for you that I highly recommend is that whenever you buy a new set of threads, keep the chart. OK, laminate this and I'll I'll have a little clip of how, you know, what laminator I use to laminate my stuff. I use the Amazon Basics, it's really inexpensive. Um, I always keep all my charts together. I just, you know, if if they're like little papers, I just laminate them, pop a hole, just take a ribbon, put it around, and then I just hang it somewhere in my room. So whenever I need to uh, reference a color or something, I got everything very handy in one place and I'm not running around all over the room looking for that particular chart, color chart. So anyway, I just wanted to do a quick uh, video and show you about this. Um, you know, and, and just one more other thing. This is the color conversion chart for the SIM thread going to Madeira. You can find color charts for other types of thread brands also, okay? What you gotta do is Google it. Just type in the brand um, of embroidery thread and type in conversion chart. And you're going to see it because if you look at my computer right now, these are a bunch of different types of brands and um, color charts that you can get, you know, that you can kind of see. So, you know, just Google it. Just Google it. You'll be able to find the brand that, you know, matches. Right now, one of the things that I am looking for is I have purchased the big uh the big kit of the Thread Nanny that had 250 uh, colors, right? Beautiful colors, I love them all. Um, and I am looking to see where can I find a conversion chart for this. I'm still looking, I'm sure there's one out there. I just haven't really spent a lot of time dedicated to look for this because um, I haven't really run low on anything, but I'm sure that even if I can't find something, I can probably in the Madeira or in some other brand, I'm sure I can get a big comb to replace whatever color it is that I'm using a lot in, in this in this um, brand of, um, of thread. So anyway, guys, um, you know, and I, and I plan on going to their website also. You never know. Sometimes the company itself can offer a big, uh, big combs and you don't even know, you know. So um, it's just something to look at. So anyway, guys, hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I do embroidery happy hour every Friday at 8 o'clock. And, um, you know, I also have a Facebook group. Um, happy Hour Embroidery Adventures. I mean, Embroidery Happy Hour Adventures. Please join. It's a great, um, fun place to go and share projects about embroidery and ask questions if you're new to it, too. So, you know, hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Happy sewing and embroidery. Bye. Hey guys, here this is a little tip for you. Um, if you guys um, want to know how I was able to get my conversion chart laminated and stuff, what I did was I purchased a um, Amazon Basics laminator. They're pretty inexpensive, and then I just bought a bunch of lamination um, sleeves. And all you do is just turn it on, and you know you you put your papers in the sleeve, and then you just um, once the green light is ready. You just go ahead and you just slide it in there and then I just laminate it, okay? I find this is um, very, very useful because if you just have the piece of paper, you know, piece of papers can get torn and, you know, it's just really easy to um, lose them. Another thing that I do, if I can find all the other, um, the other things that I have here is once I'm done laminating that, usually what I do is I make like a little hole and then I just take a ribbon and then I just like tie it together. Okay, so I just make a little hole and I tie it together. These are the um, color charts that come with all of the um, embroidery threads that I have purchased. 
including, um, you know, Cricut or heat press temperatures that I need. Um, this is one that I had printed out a while ago and I use this a lot. And I decided to go on the SimThread website and get a new um, color conversion chart for the 63 threads because I find that I use these threads a lot. So, you know, um, now that I have this laminate, I'm gonna let it cool for a little bit and I will put a little, a little um, punch a hole in here and then add this to this collection and stuff. So, um, you know, just wanted to uh, show you guys how I laminate, you know, my, uh, you know, what I, how I keep my, my, uh, my important um, thread charts together.